those glamorous, carefree days of Hollywood brought us some wonderful musicals and many great songs. Relax and share a few memories with our musical family. And let's start with the band and the title song of the movie on Moonlight Bay. One and two and... sentimental favorite from the days of the First World War. Let's hear it by Guy and Rona. Thank you. Smile the while you kiss me Saturday when the clouds roll by I'll come to you Question. Did we buy or rent the costumes? 
Well, the answer is we did both. If you're talking about the girls' matching gowns, we always bought those. I shopped constantly. Every week I would go down to the wholesale clothes mart and look for dresses that would work for 11 different women. I would order them, and it would take six to eight weeks for delivery. I definitely had to plan ahead. And in addition, those 11 women had to have solo gowns. I would keep my eyes open for all of them, picking up dresses here and there when I saw them. Many times I would think I had chosen the perfect dress for, let's say, Norma, and Mary Lou would wear it instead. Very rarely did we have something that was never used. We did recycle some of the gowns. We'd add a little something to them, like beading or a big bow, or we'd take something off just enough to change the look. And talking of recycling, Norma wore this in 1971 and then in 1974. That's recycling. Over the years, we gathered quite a collection and kept them in a huge triple hanging stock room by colors and sets, each one tagged with the name of the wearer and the date it was worn. There were matching shoes for every gown, coordinated accessories and jewelry, all tagged and cross-referenced. It was quite a sight. In the stock room, each girl and guy had their own solo wardrobe section, which we added to all the time. On this show, I wanted Bobby and Sissy to recreate the look of Fred and Ginger. I remembered that one of her most famous gowns was all feathers. In fact, Mr. Astaire complained that some got in his mouth as they danced. Well, I don't know if that was a problem for our Mr. Burgess, but this is what I chose for them to wear, and I think they looked great. Bobby, oh, they are so great. From the same movie, Top Hat, here's a beautiful song by the musical genius, Irvin Berlin. Let's hear from Tom Netherton. Isn't this a lovely day to be caught in the rain? You were going on your way now you've got to remain Just as you were going Leaving me all at sea The clouds broke 
They broke and oh, what a break for me I can see the sun up high But we're caught in a storm I can see where you and I Could be cozy and warm Let the rain pitter-patter But it really doesn't matter If the skies are gray Long as I can be with you it's a lovely day Let the rain pitter-patter But it really doesn't matter If the skies are gray Long as I can be with you It's a lovely day Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Well, just to show you the tremendous variety of music written by Irving Berlin, here is an exciting instrumental, and I know you're going to enjoy it because it's also from Top Hat. And of course, I know you're going to enjoy it because it features our happy Norwegian, Myron Florin, and all of the champagne music makers. Here they are now. A happy tune and a fine performance by Myron and the band. I just know you'll enjoy Anna Connie's rendition of this lively song from the movie Flying Down to Rio. Say, have you seen a karaoke? It's not a fox red or a polka. It has a little bit of new rhythm, a blue rhythm inside. It has a meter that is tricky, a bit of wicked wacky wiki. But when you dance it with a new love, there'll be true love in your side. You'll dream of the new karaoke. Its theme is the kiss and a sigh. You'll dream of the new karaoke when music and lights are gone and we're saying goodbye. Together, they say are better than one, two heads together. That's how the dance has begun, two arms around you. And let us say I am yours and you are mine while the karaoke carries you away. Mine while the karaoke till the break of day. And you are mine, yes.
You just saw Anna Connie in traditional Spanish dress, which we rented from a place called Western Costume in Hollywood. They must have the largest collection of theatrical clothes in the world, and we made good use of them. I would call ahead and make an appointment, and when I got there, one of the staff would go from floor to floor with me and pull the show. I would have a list of what I needed, and the staff person would show me all the choices. We'd pull all the costumes and then call in the people for fittings. My assistant, Gertrude Spangler, could make almost anything fit anybody. She saved the day for us more times than I could count. In the next segment of songs, you'll see the results of one of my trips to Western costume. We were saluting the movie An American in Paris, and we needed to create a French street scene. We started with people in traditional evening wear, gowns and tuxedos, all in black and white, for a modern, timeless look. We added a French painter, of course in a smock and beret, and brought in an old-fashioned street cleaner in a white uniform and cap. We chose a French policeman's uniform for our Duncan, and made Tanya a vintage flower seller. When we put them all together, we thought it really worked as a Parisian fantasy. See what you think. Embrace me, my sweet embraceable you.
is here to stay Not for a year But ever and a day The radio and the telephone And the movies that we know May just be passing fancy and in time they go But oh my dear Our love is here to stay Together Gibraltar may tumble They're only made of clay But our love is here to stay In time the Rockies may crumble Gibraltar may tumble of the great George Gershwin played an important part in many Hollywood musicals. Here's a Gershwin song I've always liked, especially the title. It's wonderful. One, and two, and... that people always asked me was how far in advance we worked on the shows. Well, we tried to keep the two weeks ahead, but there were always last minute changes. Here's how we did it. On Thursday, I would get together with Jim Hobson, our director and producer, whom I adored, and Chuck Coons, our art director, who is one of the sweetest men I've ever worked with, to discuss the show coming up in a few days. Then we would start to make our plans for the show two weeks away. That would have already set the theme and chosen the music. 
We would decide on what the production numbers should look like and how to fit the solo numbers into the theme, but we always worked by the song and really listened to the words. The clothes had to fit the concept to please Jim, fit the color scheme to please Chuck, appeal to the person who had to wear them, and look good to me. It was a constant challenge. Many times when I couldn't buy or rent what I needed, I made the costumes. For a Disney salute, I made 11 complete Mary Poppins outfits, a beautiful fairy princess gown for Norma Zimmer, and I also made these Roaring Twenty bathing suits for the girls and guys. They were my favorites, and we used them a lot over the years. Mr. Welk would never approve of modern day bikinis. The funniest costumes I ever made were baby dresses with bloomers, bonnets, and booties for some of the guys in the band, and we put them in a playpen. Our next segment was dedicated to Judy Garland, and I recreated the dress she wore in The Wizard of Oz for Kathy Sullivan. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's a land that I heard of once in a lullaby. Somewhere over the rainbow, skies that you dare to dream really do come true someday i'll wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops that's where Somewhere over the rainbow, bluebirds fly. Birds fly over the rainbow. Why then, oh, why can't I? If happy little bluebirds fly beyond the rainbow, why, oh, why can't I? Kathy Sullivan with some memories of Judy Garland and Bob Ralston, congratulations on a beautiful organ background. The same little girl with the big voice also starred in a musical titled Meet Me in St. Louis. The story and the setting were built around the St. Louis World's Fair of 1904, actually the Louisiana Purchase Centennial Exposition. It featured, among other things, the world's largest Ferris wheel. Come on along now, let's go to the fair. <laughs> Oopsie. 
World's Fair of 1904? <laughs> That's even before my time. Well, almost. Um, also from Meet Me in St. Louis came this next beautiful melody, The Boy Next Door. We feature our wonderful saxophone section and the great trumpet of Johnny Zell. Our sexes and Johnny Sell. They work so hard and do such a wonderful job. Ladies and gentlemen, we're still in St. Louis, still at the fair, and ready for a trolley ride with our lovely, and I might even say famous, Samansky sisters. They're doing so well. The girls get a lift from conductor Jimmy Roberts. <laughs> A jolly hour on the trolley and lost my heart instead. With his light brown derby and his bright green tie, he was quite the handsomest of men. I started to yen, so I counted to ten, then I counted to ten again. Clang, clang, clang with the trolley. Clang, clang, clang. Ding, ding, ding with the bell. But I saw her, I fell. Clang, clang, clang. Chug, chug, chug with the motor. Bump, bump, bump with the brake. Thump, thump, thump with my heart strings. When she smiled, I could feel the car shake. He tipped his hat and took a seat. He said he hoped he hadn't stepped upon my feet. He asked my name. I held my breath. I couldn't speak because he scared me half to death. Buzz, buzz, buzz went the buzzer. Plop, plop, plop went the wheels. Stop, stop, stop went my heartstrings. As he started to leave, I took hold of his sleeve with my hand. And as if it were planned, he stayed on with me and it was grand just to stand with his head holding by. were always a special problem for me, and I faced it with the Simonskis and the Lennons. The difference in ages made it difficult to dress them alike, but we all liked the way matching clothes looked on camera. Many times I bought dresses for the older girls and then made a younger version of it. The other special problem I had on the show was hiding pregnancies. When we couldn't put our expectant mothers behind a wall, a desk, or the piano, we did whatever we could think of to the clothes. We added big pieces of fabric in the back, dressed them in loose coats, or put them in animal costumes. I remember one year we put the linens in half eggshells on our Easter show. That was one of our more creative costume and prop ideas. But I always tried to do something a little different. I was the first person on television to do an all-white wedding with the men in white as well as the women. 
white tuxedos are so spectacular looking, I had to try it. And it really worked. In the next song, the obvious choice would have been yellow raincoats. But I chose red ones. I believe in making my costumes as colorful and interesting as possible. So I added yellow scarves around the neck and yellow flowers on the umbrellas just to make the girls feel more like singing in the rain. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling, I'm happy again. I'm laughing at clouds. shining bright but now the milkman's on his way it's too late to say good night so good morning a good morning sunbeams will soon smile through good morning a good, good morning, morning to you Nani, 
Johnny and a hot cha cha. Hi, fiddle, fiddle, my baby's okay. Ask me a riddle, and here's what I'll say. Fit as a fiddle and ready for love. One more game. Yeah. Fit as a fiddle and ready for love. I jump over the moon up above. Having a worry, I having a care. I feel like a feather that's floating on air. Up to your chin and music again. Soon the church bells will be ringing, and I'll march with my empire. How those church bells will be ringing, where the head nodding out of in a hot cha cha. I did diddle, my baby's okay. Ask me your riddle, and here's what I'll say. Fit as a fiddle and ready. Fit as a fiddle and ready. Fit as a fiddle and ready. jackets you just saw were more like regular costumes than what the band usually wore. And we used those Dixieland outfits many times on the show. We always had the suit for the band custom made and would order one or two new colors a year. Fortunately, men's clothing styles changed less drastically than women. As for Mr. Welk, he would order 10 or 12 suits a year. I would go to the finest manufacturers and pull the fabrics and they would make them up for him. I bought all his accessories, shirts, ties, shoes, and socks. He wore almost the same size all the years I worked for him and was meticulous about his wardrobe. Once he was dressed for the show, he never would sit down so he wouldn't wrinkle his clothes before going on camera. In the early days, he would wear costumes now and then, but it wasn't his favorite thing to do. Here is a hippie outfit. Shirt, vest, and his jewelry, the peace sign, and the long hair and glasses, the granny glasses. Do you believe it? Once, in a Swiss Alps number, he wore some lederhosen. And a fan wrote to him, complaining about his knobby knees. Well, that was the end of his dressing and character. From then on, he wore suits, tuxedos, and his favorite for waltzing, white tie and tails. Mr. Welk refused to wear any outfit until I approved it. And he would always wait patiently as I adjusted his tie and pocket handkerchief just before he walked on stage. It was a pleasure to work with someone as naturally theatrical as Mr. Welk. He always knew what the audience would like, even when it came to costumes. A movie called Hollywood Canteen gave us a song that has kept its popularity over the years. You'll hear a, a young lady with a great voice and getting more popular all the time, Ava Barber. Oh, give me land, lots of land under starry skies above. Don't fence me in. Let me ride through the wide open country that I love. Don't fence me in. Let me stay by myself in the evening breeze. Listen to the murmur of the cottonwood trees. Send me off forever, but I ask you please. Don't fence me in, just turn me loose. Let me straddle on my saddle underneath the western skies. On my coast, let me wander over yonder till I see the mountains rise. I want to ride to the ridge where the west commences. Gaze at the moon till I lose my stenses. Can't look at hobbles and I can't stand fences. Don't fence me in, just turn me loose. Let me straddle on my saddle underneath the western skies. On my coast, let me wander over yonder till I see the mountains rise. I want to ride to the ridge where the west commences. Gaze at the moon till I lose my senses. Can't look at hobbles and I can't stand fences. Don't fence me in, no. Porter. A little unusual for this gentleman, 
who wrote so many sophisticated songs. A Hollywood musical based on the life of Cole Porter had the same title as one of his greatest songs, Night and Day. Our talented musical director, George Cates, wrote the arrangement of this beautiful melody. George, take it away. <laughs> 